Hello friends, in this lecture we see physical significance of entropy. In last lecture we see about entropy, concept of entropy. Now in this lecture we see physical significance of entropy. It is very difficult to describe concept of entropy because there is nothing physical to represent it like temperature or pressure. Therefore, it is also followed as a ghostly quantity. Entropy is a measure of disorder in the molecular arrangement of the system. The addition of heat to a system increases its entropy and the addition of heat produces more violent agitation of the molecules of the system. Entropy is a measure of disorder in the molecular arrangement of the system and if we, we add heat or when heat is supplied to the system, it increases entropy of the system and addition of heat produces a more agitation of the molecules of the system. But this more violent agitation brings greater disorder in the molecular arrangement in the system. Thus, greater the addition of heat, that is greater increase in entropy, greater is the disorder of molecular arrangement of the system Hence, increase in entropy implies transition from more order to less order or greater disorder the state of system. That is when entropy increases, that is entropy is a disorder, measure of disorder of the molecular arrangement of the system. When heat is supplied to the system, then uh, entropy increases. Entropy increases, then there is more agitation of the molecules of the system. That is more agitation of molecules uh, uh, disorder. Of the disorder increases. Disorder of the molecular arrangement in the system increases. Thus greater the addition of heat, that is greater increase in entropy, and greater is the disorder of molecular arrangement of the system. In increase in entropy implies a transition from a more order to a less ordered or greater disorder the state of a system. The entropy is a function of the probability of the macroscopic state of the system and the probability is a maximum for maximum disorder. When disorder increases, then probability increases. That is, entropy is a function of probability of a macroscopic state of the system. That is when disorder increases, probability increases, that is entropy increases. Thus, increase of entropy implies a transition from less probable to more probable state. Okay, less probable increase the entropy transition from less probable to more probable state. Or oh, we know that that is all natural processes in the universe are irreversible processes. And entropy in an irreversible process increases. It means entropy of the universe constantly goes on increasing. Thus, in case of entropy, the second law of thermodynamics is stated as the entropy of the universe is tending towards maximum. Okay? Second law of thermodynamics is stated as the entropy of the universe is tending towards maximum. The entropy may also be regarded as a measure of unavailable energy of the universe to do useful work. As entropy of the universe increases, the unavailable energy, unavailable energy increases or available energy of the universe for doing work decreases. This is the principle of degradation of energy. This is called as that is Unavailable increases and available energy decreases when entropy increases. This is the principle of degradation of energy. Now we see next point that is entropy changes or increase of entropy in reversible and irreversible processes. First we see entropy change in reversible process. Entropy change in reversible process. In this case consider a complete reversible process. That is suppose Carnot's reversible cycle A, B, C, D, A. Hmm? In this case, during the isothermal expansion A, B, A, B, C, D cycle bucket layer, A, B is nothing but that is first stage. 
during the exothermal expansion along ab there is a constant temperature that therefore this is isothermal expansion during isothermal expansion ab the gas absorbs q1 amount of heat at temperature t1 in center of increases by q1 by t1 but during adiabatic expansion entropy remains unchanged therefore during isothermal compression cd this is state ali isothermal compression and isothermal compression cd gas rejects q2 amount of heat gas rejects q2 amount of heat at temperature t2 in c entropy decreases during isothermal compression during adiabatic compression da again entropy remains unchanged manje isothermal adiabatic expansion and adiabatic compression la entropy kay aste constant aste remains unchanged aste parantu isothermal expansion la entropy kay hote increase hote ani isothermal compression la entropy kay hote decrease hote thus a net change in entropy during carnot's reversible cycle is given by ds equal to q1 by t1 minus q2 by t2 but for complete reversible process q1 by t1 equal to q2 by t2 therefore we get what q1 by t1 minus q2 by t2 equal to a zero this change this is increase in entropy this is decrease in entropy therefore this change is called as change in entropy ds equal to kya ala zero ala that is change in entropy during reversible process is always zero or entropy remains constant ds equal to zero means s equal to constant that is entropy remains constant during reversible process or change in entropy during reversible process is zero okay then next point entropy change in irreversible process irreversible process all the natural processes are irreversible we know that all the natural processes are irreversible now consider that the working substance in an engine performs an irreversible cycle in which it absorbs heat q1 at a higher temperature t1 from the source and rejects heat q2 at a lower temperature t2 of the same then the efficiency of this cycle is given by uh, what is considered what we consider that is all the natural processes are irreversible we know all the natural processes are irreversible now consider that the working substance in an engine performs an irreversible cycle we here suppose working substance perform performs irreversible cycle okay reversible cycle which happen irreversible consider that in which it absorbs heat q1 at a higher temperature that is temperature of source t1 from the source and rejects heat q2 at a lower temperature t2 of the same then efficiency of the cycle is given by we see this formula in last lecture that is q1 minus q2 by q1 equal to 1 minus q2 by q1 okay but by carnot's theorem this efficiency is less than that of a reversible engine working between same two temperatures that is t1 and t2 for which efficiency is given by eta equal to 1 minus t2 by t1 okay ya cha peksha hi efficiency kay ahe lahan aste therefore 1 minus q2 by q1 is less than this efficiency of ideal heat engine that is eta therefore 1 minus q2 by q1 equal to eta ch value 1 minus t2 by t1 therefore a q2 ikra nela minus i a ikra plus anla 1 1 cancel zala q2 by q1 kai will greater will ani t2 by t1 less will a rearrange karun gya q2 by a t2 ikra ala greater than q1 by t1 therefore this term also can be written as q2 by t2 minus q1 by t1 is greater than 0 q2 by t2 minus q1 by t1 is greater than 0 this is nothing but change in entropy ds that is ds is greater than 0 ds kasa ahe positive ahe manje change in entropy kay hotya increase hotya change in entropy increase hotya 
study during irreversible process. Thus, the source loses entropy Q1 by T1 and sink gains entropy Q2 by T2. So, what's the idea of losing entropy? Entropy losing entropy Q1 by T1 and sink entropy gain entropy. Okay, Q2 by T2. Therefore, the net change in entropy of the whole system is Q2 by T2 minus Q1 by T1, which is greater than zero. That is positive. That is the entropy increases during irreversible process. As all natural processes are irreversible, it concludes that entropy of the universe increases due to natural processes, and this is the principle of increase of entropy of the universe. Okay, the conduction of heat and free expansion of gas are the irreversible processes. Right, conduction of heat and free expansion of gas are the irreversible processes. Let us see. That the entropy of the system increases due to this process. We know that that is the entropy increases during irreversible process. And induction of heat and free expansion of gas are the examples of irreversible process. Therefore, we see here increase of entropy during these two processes. First, we see about heat conduction. In the conduction, we know that heat is transferred or uh, flowing from higher temperature to lower temperature. Therefore, here we know that that is heat is conducted through a body from higher to lower temperature. It is an irreversible process. Okay. Hence, the entropy should increase in conduction. Let us consider a bar under steady state temperature and conducts heat from temperature T1 to temperature T2. T1 is greater than T2. Therefore, heat Conducted from T1 to T2. Amount of heat we consider here that is a Q. In change in entropy, D is equal to heat. Heat consider kila Q will be consider kila Q by T2 minus Q by T1. Okay, T2 less temperature hai. Kya mo ki amount kaise hui? Mere large hui Q by T2. Ani T1 kaise hai? Large temperature hai. Kya mo ki amount kaise hui? Less hui. Q1 constant kata Q1 into bracket 1 by T2 minus 1 by T1. 1 by T2, T2 small as lamolo, adjust the zala 1 by T1, T1 large as lamolo, key amount come is a leaf and ji, heat turbo ka is a leaf, positive zali, ani, abdala, time and day since 1 by T2 is greater than 1 by T1, therefore Ds kasala positive ala, that is entropy increases during heat conduction. During heat conduction, there is increasing entropy. Okay, then we see next example: free expansion of gas. Suppose n moles of gas is expanded isothermally at a temperature T from its initial volume V1 to final volume V2. Then free expansion of gas takes place. Free expansion of gas takes place when n Moles of gas is expanded isothermally at a temperature T from its initial volume V1 to final volume V2. Then heat absorbed during this expansion, heat absorbed during this expansion is given by TQ equal to work done during the isothermal expansion. Isothermal expansion, I tell you work done, isothermal process that is TQ is given by. Work done because about 2.303 nRT log of oh, sorry, log extra the right log of V2 by V1 to the base 10. Okay, therefore change in entropy is given by ds equal to dq by t equal to 2.303 nRT log of V2 by V1 to the base 10. This is the extra log uh, can cancel. Okay, you can neglect it. This log neglect it. Therefore, change in entropy equal to dq by t equal to 2.3 not v and r the log of v2 by v1 to the base 10. As v2 is greater than v1 because v2 is final value and v1 is initial value. Then, if you consider v2 is greater than v1, then entropy change ds is always positive or greater than 0. In same entropy increases in free expansion of gas. And last point from this chapter, that is third law of thermodynamics and unattainability of absolute zero temperature. Third law of thermodynamics and 
unattainability of absolute zero. A fundamental feature of on cooling processes is that lower the temperature achieved, then it is more difficult to go lower. I am a fundamental feature of on cooling processes is that lower the temperature at achieved, ek the temperature, ek the lower position la kela ki tacha peksha khali ne ne avgoda hai. That is, that is a fundamental feature of all cooling processes is that lower the temperature achieved, then it is more difficult to go lower. For example, colder a liquid lower the vapor pressure and it is difficult to produce further cooling by pumping away the vapor. When the temperature is close to absolute zero, then it becomes more difficult to achieve the further cooling in finite number of operations. Then we state the unattainability statement of third law of thermodynamics as by no finite series of operations, by no finite series of operations, is the absolute zero attainable? Manje finite series of operation madhe apan try karu shakat nahi zero temperature mulu shakat nahi. This is third law of temperature. This is also called as principle of law unattainability of absolute zero. Unattainability of absolute zero. The entropy of a solid or liquid decreases during a reversible process with a decrease in its temperature. This observation gives the second statement called nurse simon statement of third law of thermodynamics as that is the entropy change associated with any isothermal reversible process of a condensed system approaches zero as temperature approaches absolute zero. If the entropy of system at absolute zero is called as zero point entropy, then the third equivalent statement of the third law of thermodynamics is given as by no finite series of operations can the entropy of a system be reduced to its zero point value. This is a statement put by no finite series of operations can the entropy of a system be reduced to its zero point value. This is a statement ka hai, the entropy change associated with any isothermal reversible process of a condensed system approaches zero as the temperature approaches absolute a zero and equal statement kaya he that by no finite series of operations is the absolute zero tenable. All these three statements are equivalent. All these three statements are equivalent. Okay, yeah, can you apply chapter?